story until my annoying sister came along. You don't have any other sister, and I know you are talking about me. Can I listen? Sure, Jenny. I promise not to interrupt all the time. Sure, Jenny. Who me? I can believe the things you are saying about me. I'm always so sweet and kind and helpful and... Jenny, let me tell my story. The kids don't have all day. Oh, sorry kids. Go away. Benny, what story are you telling? Little Blue Riding Hood. Don't you mean Little Rat Riding Hood? I suppose so. So anyway, once upon a time, there was a girl named Little Green Riding Hood. Rat! Yes, I've read the story. Now don't interrupt. That's not what I mean. You call her Little Green Riding Hood, but her name was really Little Rat Riding Hood. Okay, Piggy, what's the difference? I like green back than red anyway. <coughs> so do I, but you should tell the story the way it really is. Oh, all right. Have it your way. Once upon a time, one day, little green, a little red riding hood went to school with a bushel of apple. To a party too. No, no, no. What? I call her with the red riding hood like you want, but you got everything else wrong. She was supposed to go to her grandmother's house with a basket of cakes. Oh, right. Little red riding hood went to her grandmother's house, and on the way, she met a giraffe. A uh, what? A giraffe. You know, those funny looking things with long neck. I know what a giraffe is, but that's not what, I, what little red riding hood meant. Of course it was. It was a rhinoceros. No, not a giraffe or a rhinoceros. A skunk? I thought he knew this story. She definitely did not mean a skunk. Good, because skunks think we you. Benny little red riding hood made a wolf. Oh yeah, and the wolf says the little purple riding hood. Little red riding hood. Right, he says. How now, brown cow? No, he did not. The wolf says, what do you have in a basket with the gold? Correct. I was just testing you. And after the wolf said whatever you say, he said, little orange riding hood, little red riding hood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, she says, I have a whole mass of rotten broccoli in my basket. Want some? Oh, come on, baby. She did not. Look, Jenny, are you telling a story or am I? You are, but just tell it right. She had cake in her basket. Cake! Oh, all right, cake. So then the dragon says, Dragon? What dragon? It was a wolf. Right, and the wolf burst in song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Why on earth will the wolf say happy birthday? Because you see her basket was full of birthday cake. I did not say her basket was full of birthday cake. I said there were cakes, just ordinary, everyday cakes. Benny, you can tell the story for anything. You have got this. Kids so mix up, they probably think you are out of your mind. Fine then, Miss Smarty Pen, you tell the story. Okay, I will. Hmm, which one shall I tell? Maybe the one about the brother and sister who get lost in the woods, Hansel and Goku. No, I tell about the beautiful girl who live in the forest with a bunch of little men. You know, Snow White and the Seven T-shirt guys? No, I tell my favorite story of all. The, the one about the boy who traded his car for magic beans, Jack and the Beanbag. Or I could tell the tales of birds in sneakers or sleeping on the R. Now you're just being silly. I'm living. Guess he can dish it out, but he can take a kid. Thank you. Bye-bye.